Hi, uh, on this video we're just going to look at our um, requirements for information for our uh, design and room modelling, acoustic design and room modelling services. Now for a rectangular room that's really simple. All we need is a measurement of the length, width and height with a little bit of uh, basic detail on the construction and finishes of the walls, ceiling and floor. So that's really simple. Rooms with major features with maybe an open apex ceiling or L-shaped or something like that may need a little more in the way of information but for the most part most rooms that's all we need length, width, height and construction and surface treatments on uh, walls, ceiling and floor. Now those surface treatments can be existing so if you're starting from a raw room with no treatment uh, and maybe not even finished uh, or it can be proposed so you can include in the treatments on the walls and the ceiling and the floor the things that you know you're going to be putting in as part of the design. Now I know we're kind of all used to working with micro detail you know millivolts and uh, tiny little bits of computer data and digit by digit stuff but with acoustics it's a little different it's all about the big global room sized events and attributes so it's enough to state the data the raw data of a room and to describe the room in length width and height in not such a terribly accurate manner. If, for example, uh, a room was 21 feet long, but you actually told us it was 20 feet long, it's not really going to make any great de difference to the acoustic outcome whatsoever, if any at all. So there's no big requirement for uh, information coming to us for a room describing its length, width and height to be a full-blown architectural drawing. In fact, we'd prefer it wasn't <laughs> um, a simple back fag packet sketch will do. In fact, length, width and height to describe that, we can do that in one sentence verbally. And that is all we need. Things like, you know, details of a room, like uh, bay windows, maybe corners chopped off, pillars, nibs, that kind of thing beams, they just don't matter. It's that overall length, width and height that is the important thing. So uh, not needing full architectural drawings, uh, what often happens is uh, we get a full architectural drawing with multi layers showing multi services and probably the whole building rather than just the space in question. Um, they don't always transport CAD to CAD terribly well or terribly accurately uh, and a lot of the time it's uh, plans only so there'll be no mention of the height dimension so we'd rather not have to sort of sift through a complex architectural drawing and just have simple figures either on a simple sketch or verbally a section of uh, an architectural drawing showing just the space in question with a few dimensions scribbled on it in the form of a PDF is fine but we really don't need all that information which just gets in the way uh, of a full-blown architectural drawing. Uh, for this very simple data that we need on a room there's also a form on the website which covers Everything in terms of the, the major dimensions, various aspects of uh, window and surface area amounts within the room on various surfaces of the room. Uh, let us know if you want to use that. So normally there would be a cost implication involved, which is not always appropriate. Ultimately, we may, may need to know more uh, depending on the, the level of service we're providing, de depending on the depth 
that you want to uh, design to but we'll just ask for this on a need to know basis it's easier for you to supply a little bit over the phone or via an email as we need it than it is for you to package up a whole load of stuff 90% of which we won't actually need and it's easier for us to just get the information we need than it is to sift through a whole rake of stuff trying to get the little bits out that we want. So deadly simple for any of our design um, and remodeling services all we need is length width and height to start with and a little bit of information on the construction and the, the finish of walls, ceilings and floors. That's it. From that and maybe a couple of questions along the way during the development of the design or whatever, we can guarantee, absolutely guarantee, the sound you get is the sound you wanted and the specification we, as a target that we set will be the sound that you get. At the end of the day, absolutely no questions, no mistakes, just correct and sounding wonderful.